This is an interesting floating balance clock um, by a German, German company called Hitich or Hitech. Um, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Uh, can't quite see it because the um, hands are in the way. Anyway, it's an interesting electromechanical floating balance clock. Um, you can see it's got a large balance wheel there. Um, and how it works is there is a battery which powers a solenoid and lifts a weight. You can see the weight descending there and it's the weight that powers the clockwork mechanism. When the weight gets to the end, the solenoid will kick in and flick the weight up. Um, it works on like a clutch system. Um, There we go. <clears throat> um, it dates, this one's quite a, a late one. Somebody has put a sticker on the back and filled in when the batteries has been, when the batteries have been changed. And I think that's 81, then 86, 87, and then 97. So if somebody wrote, new 81 then that dates this from around 1981 i don't think this company really survived much longer than the the 80s but um yeah it's just an interesting electromechanical driven clock um and can be made to be very accurate uh, if i just stop the the floating balance there you can see the these are screws you wind in and out i assume you would use the four outside screws before you'd use these these four outside screws with a long thread on before you'd mess with the, the inner the inner screws um <clears throat> for fine time regulation um what happened with this one is the mechanism that sort of fits in a groove of a type of clutch system. The spring had just become detached, so I had to reattach the spring, um, give it a clean and then oiled it, and now it seems um, to run really well, and it's keeping very good time. Uh, really good time, in fact. But uh, yeah, an interesting clock. Lots of these you see in glass domes, so you can see more of the mechanism, which would actually be uh, a little bit more interesting but you can see enough of it through here um, it's in a reasonably suitable wooden case but um, yeah there's no second hand although it looks like there is a, a thread for a second hand to be put on so I don't know whether the second hand has fallen off or whether um, it was never intended to have one Yes, uh, <clears throat> nice to see a big escapement. It's quite attractive.